Hey, yo, what's up, Sexy Sam Luna Squad? How you guys doing? We're doing Try Hard Thursday all week, baby, all week. We did the 24-hour stream a couple weeks ago. And, uh, well, not a couple weeks ago. It was last week. And I wanted a week to not need to kill myself in terms of work. So I waited a week. But this week, mon mon today, starting Monday, we're doing a full week of Try Hard Thursday videos, which I know a lot of y'all love. I know a lot of you guys love to see it. And um, honestly, I'm cool with it. Like, I really, I don't mind doing Try Hard Thursday videos for two reasons. One, it means I actually can use the footage from the five minute surrenders, which are the majority of my games. Two, if I lose, eh, who cares? I suck anyways. Everyone already knew it. And three, uh, it takes about four hours to get a video up. So it is very time consuming, but it feels very rewarding. Like, a normal dual video will take like 30 minutes to get up or maybe like an hour to get up if you include um, upload time. But it, it, I don't know, try our Thursdays just feel hell of rewarding. So I'm down, dude. I'm down for a week of this. It is going to make my week a little bit longer, but you know, who cares, dude? Who cares? I'm going to eat the shit out of your buff. By the oh, what's up, baby? What's up, Boo Bear? Pow. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. You don't want a piece. You don't want a piece of this. You don't want a piece of this ass. By the way, because I play on instant cast on everything, um, I'm like relatively confident that I can out secure other Bakasuras, which is why I often invade them. Oh, nice. We got the shell. But yeah, in case you're wondering, like, Sam, why do you always invade in a box term mirror? Because if he gets the buff, oh, well, he's he died to a Joust Archer. If he gets the buff, oh, well, I don't mind that much. But generally speaking, I win the buff eating contest because I just, well, one, I'm more, I'm a more experienced eater. And two, um, just because, like I said, instant cast is OP. That's mine. Thank you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Look at him go for the... Nice. Alright. I am vibing. I am vibing. This guy's surrendering for sure. He died to, a, to an archer. And then he died to me. There's no way he wants to continue. I mean, I might as well pick it up, right? There's really no reason not to. I should be maxing my my two, by the way. I don't really know why I'm not. I'm a big proponent of maxing the two. I think it's extremely OP. Um, As a matter of fact, I'll switch over to it now. You got Golden Blade? Yeah. I'm gonna back to... Actually, like, hold up though. Hold up, though. I don't have Golden Blade, but I'll still whip your ass. Get out of here. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? All right. Much one of these. I kind of want to see if he'll fight me, though. No, he won't fight me. Oh, I... Wait. How'd I kill him? Oh, my minions! <laughs> Let's go! The boys! <laughs> the boys in blue! Let's go! I have 3,000 gold, by the way. Holy crap. 
the first game of the first tryhard Thursday of the of the week goes like this. That's just insane. And we go we got a full phalanx too. By the way, phalanx is a very good item if they have to auto attack you to do damage. Obviously, almost all of Bakasura's damage comes from auto attacks, so seems like a pretty easy decision. Your blue is up. Never mind, you're wearing it. I can't believe you actually got a buff. No, I fucked it. Oh, I ate the wrong minion. Dickies. There's the downside of having instant cast on everything. What if I just kill you, though? What are you doing? Hmm. Well, that was interesting. I wonder why he did that. Do I get the tower here? I get the tower and I live. I was actually fully expecting to die. I'm really surprised I live there. Okay, bro. Okay. All right. All right. He's W key in my ass. I see how it is. I thought we were going to take the little tussle we had. You were going to be like, ah, oh, man, I lost tower. Oh, no. And then be fine with it and run away. But instead, you're being kind of a bitch about it. Running me down. Killing me. That's the way you want to play this, huh? That's the way you want to play this. You thought you had me, huh? Honestly, serves him right. Serves him right, thinking he could just run at me and kill me. I mean, he did, but like... Without a consequence? No. No, absolutely not. I'm going to fight him again. Hmm. Pretty sure this is just better for me. Because now I go hastened, I get this and this, and then I just go like horrific because he doesn't have sprint <clears throat> and he's i'm not gonna show up on the map before i do bull demon so like he's gonna come over to bull demon be like ayo was popping and then i hit him with the horrific and kill his ass i'm pretty sure that's how that's gonna go it could also just not go like that at all and i die because i'm taking bull demon Nope. All right. He just ignored it. He went for red. What's up, man? Oh. Oh, he back. Whatever. I got a minion wave. I got pressure. I have alt. What a weird scenario. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here.
it's so weird because it's like a random fight you know all right shell down Da, 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 da. Go 500 pot. I wonder if I can just kill him and win the game. I don't know. It's hard to kill him because um, we're the same character and we're both melee. So like, well, I don't know. Maybe it's not that hard because I do have, I do have hasten. He's getting XP camp right now, by the way. This is an odd play. Oh, you got a bracer. Nice, good damage. Good damage, good damage. We got about half the Titan. Hello. You still die here, right? You do? And I still win the game. Nice. Poifik. I love it here. Winning by Kasura mirrors. Oh, he died once as well. I feel like only dying once in a Bakasura mirror is really good for me because I suck at this god. I'm actually terrible at this god, so only dying once feels really good. I'll see you guys in game number two. Yo, welcome back, boys. Game number two. And I am playing on her. You know what I will say? I probably need some caffeine in my life. But I don't really want to... Um, I don't know. I don't really want to get up. I also like didn't sleep well. I woke up like four or five times because I had little, I had little bad dreams, little nightmares. So I woke up a few times. I'm a baby bitch, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so that kind of sucks. So I slept for like, I slept for like nine hours, and I don't feel rested at all, dude. Which is just the worst, really, especially when you know you have to do shit in the morning. You know, like you'll wake up or you'll, you'll get into bed that night and you'll be like, okay, I got to get up at 6.30 or 6 a.m. because I got to hit the gym. I got to do a long stream and I got to do a try hard Thursday. Try hard Thursday take four hours. Gym takes two hours. Stream takes 12 hours. If I get every, if I get up at 6 a.m., I'll be done working by 10 p.m. You know, <laughs> and then, and then you get up at 10 and you're like, fuck, dude. What, I'm going to work till 2 a.m. now? Oh, my God. It's just the worst. 4 a.m., really. Jesus. And you get up at 10 and you're tired. I even had an alarm, by the way. Set. Didn't matter. I'm saving my HP. Um, I got a new phone. Not that you guys give a shit at all. Because why would you? But uh, I had... My phone was like eight or nine years old. It was, it was old, old. Um, oh, I wanted to jump. Oh. What is this? Wait, I'm actually clobbering. Hold on. Okay, we definitely won that trade easy. Oh my god. He's so low, dude. 
Yeah, he's not happy about that. But I got a new phone because my old phone was super, super old. And I also I got off my parents' phone plan. So I got my own phone plan. Oh, that hit me. I think I'm okay with this, though. Yeah, you definitely have to back because I hit level 5 here. Don't be don't be crazy. Don't be crazy right now. You're being insane. You're being crazy. Brick camo, my king, you're being too crazy right now. I missed. You were not being crazy. I was. What are you doing? What is this? Oh. Oh. Turns out he's literally just infinitely better than me and I will never amount to anything in life as long as this guy is alive. Insane. Insane in the membrane. I guess he also did start Transcendence and I started dog shit tier 2 Griffin. So maybe it makes more sense than I initially thought. Whatever. I'll come back. I don't need to be winning by default. I just need to be winning in general. And I can make it happen through a little bit of maximum effort, as Deadpool would say. And I'm so tired. I really need some caffeine. Holy shit. Yo, what? on earth was that why can't i hit this bitch he's actually so tanky Through the wall? Through the wall? That just straight homed on me through the wall? What was that? Crazy. He did go a little buck wild right there. To be fair. Like, he definitely should not have done that. But I'm cool with it. Why are you so annoying? Oh, he's tanky. I just hit him for 40, I think. Man, I just landed all those autos. He is definitely not happy. All right. All right. That's not bad. I get my, I use my griff or my, not my griffin wing. I use my, my wing shard. That's what it called. My alt and my wing shard in order to get his relics, both of them. So a win, maybe, maybe not a win. I'm not exactly sure. Please no. All right. I don't mind this much. I don't mind this much. You don't win this, right?
Oh, well, you do if I miss everything. Shit. What was that? What was that? I guess maybe he thought that his his shell would come up a little faster. Not his shell, his shield is two. I guess he didn't have finished breastplate either. Maybe he thought he did. I'm also going to go breastplate, by the way. The main reason is uh, because I want the cooldown for my knockback. That's pretty much it. Can I get this blue or are you going to yoink it from me? I kind of feel like he's a yoink master flex right now. He's not. Thank goodness. Dude, I feel like I'm doing no damage. Like I'm hitting, I'm, I'm autoing minions for like barely over a hundred. What's happening here? Did that just spawn in my face. Does that mean this one just spawned? Oh yeah, I did. Nice. That's an interesting play. We got his horn shard. I wonder if he is going to come back and try to stop me from doing this. Wally's got a minion wave to clear. Now he's going to clear the minion wave, which means I'm going to use my horn shard here. Or my wing shard. Sorry, not horn shard. Perfect. I get the free bull demon. Interesting. Hmm. And I get the red buff too. Man, this cannot be the way he wanted to play this out. I feel like he definitely should have played this slower. Like him being aggressive on me lets me win the trades because obviously I'm on her in the early game, right? So like I'm going to do more damage than him. And I, again, don't feel like I'm doing that much damage. But um, I'm on her in the early game, so I'm going to be doing more damage than him. And then he just kind of has to like live with it because of the fact that he's being aggressive. Which doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? All right. I only hit for 39, but if he doesn't mess with me, then I should be able to get this. Looks like somebody wants to mess with me. <laughs> uh oh, Piscetio. Oh my god, I took a phoenix shot there. Uh... Oh! I can't believe that killed him. I actually cannot believe that killed him. That is so lucky for me. I did have 4,000 gold. So I was just going to go back. But because he jumped over the wave and not on the wave, I was like, okay. If I can maybe win this fight, because he's got no shield, then I win the game. That was super lucky. All right. See you guys in the next game. Hey, yo, boys. I'm back, and I am popping some caffeination. Pog. Nice. Nice. Playing Robin today. Mainly just because I wanted to.
There's not really any other reason. I just feel like doing the whole punch motion, you know? I'm fighting an Aries. Brick Camo seems to be the kind of guy that doesn't like playing the meta in duel. Because I've just fought him. Last game, right? He was the Odin. It seems like he doesn't really enjoy... Uh, how do I say it? Winning. <laughs> Seems like winning isn't really his thing. Because I'm sure he's a great player. But uh you can't you can't beat S tier gods on D tier gods all the time. Like I'm sure I'm sure that he's gonna kill me a few times here. And he might even get my tower. He might even get my Phoenix. I don't know. But there's just no way that I lose this game because my pressure compared to his pressure is otherworldly. Also, I invade here because he doesn't ever easily get a buff. He uses his three. His three never, never full clears. Yep. And then uh and then I get his buff. He has he uses horn shard there, I, I'm pretty sure. So he has no horn shard. I'm not scared of him. His three does jack shit to me. His one also does basically nothing to me. I have a permanent way to get out of his alt with my two. What like what well how do you how do you win this, man? Again, I'm not roasting him as a player. It's just his god pick is, like, not good. Like, he can't clear the wave while I'm... I'm snagging a red buff. Don't you just die here? You do. I kind of feel bad. Like normally when I when I fight people like this that are like picking not great gods, I'll just like not record the video, but it, it's a try hard Thursday, so like I throw it in for sure. And I, I'm sure you guys want to see it too. I mean like you guys hate when I don't include things. Which I don't really understand, because like if I'm getting like absolutely cum dumpied on when I'm playing, you know, full like 80% cooldown Thor for some reason. <clears throat> and I'm just getting slapped by a Kronos. And then I'll like in the next video, I'll be like, oh, so I recorded this game, but it didn't go well. All of the comments in that video are all like, upload that game. And I'm like, dude, it, th there's no content. There's no content in there. It's just me getting, getting thwomped on. <laughs> like it's, it's not even entertaining. <laughs> But I do know that you guys hate it when I keep content out of videos. And on Try Hard Thursdays, I get to just add everything. So it's good for me. It's good for y'all. I get to talk about absolutely nothing and everything at the same time. All right. Let me just clear the wave. Oh, okay. I almost feel bad. You know? Like... Like he, my, like he's trying, you know. Like he's really trying his best. I almost feel bad. Treasure chest isn't over here. Ah! I wanted the treasure chest, man. <laughs> ah, he's still following me. Ah! Oh, okay, I'm safe. Nice. Let's see. That's that's the problem. I could do the dumbest shit imaginable and walk out scot free because because if he misses a chain, he can't kill me. I'm just gonna go get this. Cool with that. 
Alright. Well, now you get no abilities up. So now I do this for free. And he missed the chain, so I'm safe. And now I run over here. Pop. I pop the horn shard. For the extra healing. I get that. You just, like, you just cannot fight me. I don't know. I don't know. I hate being the guy that, like, <clears throat> cancels out fun and duel because he's the sweaty tryhard loser that just picks OP shit all the time and never has fun and only cares about MMR. Like, I never want to be that guy. But I do have to do a week worth of tryhard Thursday videos. So, I have to be that guy for a week. Uh, fair warning, by the way, because I know some people actually avoid queuing Thursdays because of my tryhard Thursdays. Um, if you want to avoid fighting me this week, don't queue between the hours of 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Or if you want to fight me, then queue during those times. I mean, <laughs> like that. There you go. I mean... All right. Um... I'm not going to get defense because that's bitchy. I'm just going to keep buying like items that I think are good. Like Soul Leader plus Yotans gives me 30% cooldown, 40% with the blue buff. Sorry, it's going to give me 20% pen, which I need because he's building defense and he's a guardian. Um, And all of those items give me healing, by the way, which I, I just saw. I didn't plan it that way. Um, <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I mean, that just can't be fun for you. <clears throat> I get it. I get it. I'm sure the viewers get it. I'm sure you get it. I'm sure even even if I called up in the room, I'm sure even he would understand it. I'll see you guys in the next game. Hey yo, what's up, boys? <clears throat> I want to play either Kali or Bastet this game. Nice, the Bastet game. Let's go. Um, Adventurers Guild. I don't think I've ever seen that skin. Is that new? No, I hate that. I hate that. I don't like I don't like that at all. Um What about Diamond Bastet? I mean That's not Pog. That's not that Pog. What is this? Little Helper? Honey Bunny? Snow Kitten? Luminous? I'm definitely a Luminous Bastet skin main. Like, this is definitely my favorite because I like the hair. But I don't know. Star Tamer? Okay. I actually like the Star Tamer Bastet skin. You know what I don't like about it? The two. Every time I press my two button, I feel like I suck. Like, I just miss everything all the time. It's big sock, dude. It's big sock. Oh, it's brick camo again. Dude, my tryhard Thursday this, like today, is just going to be a brick camo cameo. 
Rick Camo Cameo? Maybe he changes his name. That's kind of pog. Rick Camo Cameo. Rick Camo Cameo. By the way, chat. Um, Fun fact. I have 100%ed Remnant 2. I'm going to show you. Because you guys don't believe me, probably. Um, boop, monitor capture. 82.6 hours. 100% 50 out of 50 achievements. It's a very good game. Um, obviously, Remnant from the Ashes is a, is another very good game. I have 167 hours. And I, I haven't even 100%ed it. Um, but I would highly recommend playing Remnant 2. It's a, it's just a very high quality game. Uh, there's a few things that are going to piss you off about it, like the trait system and the fact that armors don't have, uh, like skills attached to them anymore. But overall, it's a really, really good game. And the DLC, I, didn't, I know they haven't announced any yet, but the DLC will be insane whenever it launches. Okay, I can't kill anything. Oh. Um, I'm pretty sure he just like molly wops the shit out of me, right? I don't know why he's pressing all these buttons on me, man. Oh, but my shell didn't go off, man. I pressed it. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I mean, you know what's insane, though? He killed me and didn't get anything for it. And now I get to get red buff. Like, he killed me and it was arguably worse for him to kill me. Because now he's the one with the bounty. It would actually have been better if he let me kill him. Because now he doesn't get red buff. And he has a bounty on his head, so he can't even defend it. Because I'll kill him and just get extra gold. Isn't that crazy? Isn't it just insane how duel works? You actually get punished for getting first blood. That's so stupid, man. That is so stupid. I don't know why they ever added that. Well, I know why, because everyone was like, oh my god, Smite is so uh, snowball-y. Whoever gets first blood in duel always wins. By the way, never true. That was literally never true. I was always the man to make a comeback after losing first blood. Always was, always will be. And now that first blood literally doesn't matter at all, I can give it up without even giving a shit anymore. First blood, not anything else. You have beads. You don't. What if I just killed you? Boop. You're dead. Alright. He definitely should have gotten beads. Uh, next item. What are we thinking? I'm thinking I just go like a Jotun's. Like, I don't... I don't think I stack here. I could just go Pestilence, actually. To be honest with you. That might be better. Because I, I do need... I do need defense in this game. Like, last game, he was Ares. I don't need defense then. This game, he's a mage. Which does damage. Very consistently and, like, high numbies. I'm definitely going to go out of my way to get some defense. I will pick up that blue buff, but I'm going to clear the wave first. Hopefully. Alright. Let's grab this. Thank you. God, he just eliminates my wave. He just eliminates it. We are four minutes into the game, which means treasure chests have spawned. I'm going to go check. See if I can snag his. Hello. Thanks for the treasure. 
Oh, he's stopping his item to go into defense. That's a good call, to be honest. Probably a mandatory call. Stop. All right. I really don't have a lot of mana, do I? I don't really need a lot. I feel like I can just kind of sit here and, like, fight you. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, that should clear wave, right? Now he doesn't have beads, so I'm going to try to bait him into tower here. I'm bad. Ow. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Bonk. All right. Okay. <laughs> Yo, he's trying so hard to kill me. You should have finished me when you had the chance. Oh man. All right. Fair enough. Oh, ouch. That doesn't kill me. Certainly, I, it does. I have to shell it. Life sucks. Um. All right. Let's just grab this. Go into Jotun's. It actually wouldn't have killed me, by the way. I thought it would because the timer was still ticking down while it was on me. Oh, you know what's interesting? If I had finished solely to there, I win the fight. Like, he has one... He has an actual full item that gives him, like, stats and shit. And I have almost a full item. Once solely to is stacked, I win that fight, and it's actually not even close. Something to keep note of. Damn. I kind of want to get G's. I mean, do I care that much about this? I feel like I don't. Yeah, I don't think I care that much. Like, you have max cooldown and all, and like, like, ouchy ouchy numbies. But, uh, I have anti heal. You can't really beat anti heal. Should I go beat stick as well? I don't think so. I think beat stick might be a little bit too extra. Like, he, he's not building. I guess he does have meditation. I mean, maybe I'll go beat stick, but the cooldown right now is just more important. Let's be honest. We just all agree that the cooldown is like way more important than a little bit of extra anti heal. Bonk, bonk. I'm not doing all the damage to him right now. But I am hurting him a bit, which is nice. Oh, I got him. Honk. Nice. Oh, he's just going to surrender again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys in the next game. <laughs> What's up, boys? Game number five coming at you live on this recording. Uh, we're probably gonna have to do six games in this recording because I assume, because the games were only like five to seven minutes long, every single one, basically. Um, 
I assume that mo the majority of the time spent recording from game one to now is spent in queue. So, <laughs> so I'll do this game and then I'll probably do one more unless this game goes for like 25, 30 minutes. But I doubt it because I did pick Kronos. So we will see. <laughs> so I downloaded uh I downloaded Pokemon Go. In case you're wondering what I'm laughing at. I downloaded Pokemon Go. And uh J2B is a Pokemon Go fiend. And so he's been sending me gifts. And I I for those who don't know, when we bought this house, uh we bought this house in the middle of fucking nowhere. So there's nothing around me. There's no Pokestops. There's not even Pokemon around me. There's no roads. There's no Pokestops. There's no Pokemon. There's nobody playing. There's no raids. There's no fucking... There's, no, there's just nothing. There's just nothing near me. So I need J2B to send me a, a gift every day. So I can get Pokeballs. And um, he sent me one. And he, I, I got an egg out of it. And I was like, great, I got an egg. That's not going to help me at all. And he said, bro, I gave you a whole ass Pokemon. Now you can go try to catch something other than Bidoof's. Because for some reason, the only Pokemon that live in my backyard are Bidoof's. <laughs> so in case you're wondering what I was laughing, what I was giggling about. Um, Nuwa is going to be a lot more dangerous next patch. This patch, though, not much to worry about. Hello. I hit her. Nice. Excuse me. All right, let's get this red buff down. I'm not going to use anything else on it because I'm not really in danger of dying. I have 200 HP. I do want that. Oh. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's go back. We'll get our Bancrofts online. We'll get our Chalice of Healing online. Then we'll start zooming back to the wave. He's already half HP, bro. Did I even hit him? I don't even think I hit him in this lifetime. Oh, God. Those... Those... Devil children. You don't scare me. Disappear into the cosmos. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's not much he can do there. I feel like... This try hard Thursday is like a like extra stompy today. Like I'm just demolishing people. It's not my intention. Bonk. Ow. Ow. I don't really care about any kind of damage you deal to me. Oh, I could have killed him if I didn't suck. That's unlucky. What if I just kill you now, though? <laughs> I mean, a <the> word. <laughs> Does my three clear? No, I still got to auto a bit. That's all right, though. I don't mind a couple of autos. Let's go straight into Typhons. I don't think I need to, like, greed for anything in particular. I'll upgrade my shell just to tier 2, just to lower the cooldown a little bit. I haven't had a, a reason to use it yet, but... In case I do ever get that reason. I feel like... I feel like... Once you start needing your shell, you need it always. You know what I mean? Hello. 
Nice done you. God, I really like don't hurt you that much. Never mind. I've lied to you. I actually hurt you like a lot. Those minions are absurdly strong. All right, tower down. And that's down. And now red buff is down. And now... I don't know. Okay. Okay. That's a five minute. All right. Uh, GG. Five kills in five minutes. Literally one kill a minute. I will see you guys in the sixth game of the video. And probably the last one. See you there. Yo, what's going on, boys? Welcome back. Welcome back to the final game of the video. I am fighting a Kronos. And, uh, you know, I was talking about Pokemon Go and how I only catch Padoofs in my backyard. Well, guess what? There was a Carnivine in my backyard. And it had little question marks where its CP was. And I caught its bitch ass. It was 741 CP. I don't know if that's good, but it's fucking... The bar is, like, closer to filled than it is to empty. So it's probably goaded. You're welcome for the knowledge, by the way. I'm actually just the best. Anyways, um, against the Kronos, I'm feeling confident. I think that Oleron wins this matchup. I've played this matchup as Kronos about... Probably about 15 times, and I've played it as Oleron about five or six times. And every single time... Oleron's easier to win with. Like, I can win the matchup as Kronos here, but it's so much harder to win. Like, it's just it's just easier to be the Oleron in this scenario. Which sounds weird. Because you're like, oh, Kronos is like the dual god, right? And yes, technically he is, but like at the same time, Oleron's ult is crazy OP. Also, Oleron is better clear. Just give me the minis, please. All I want is the minis. Oh, nice. Okay. I feel like that was just a, a case of not respecting early game Oleron. I think Oleron's early game is probably one of the best early games. Period. Like, it's just so good. It is actually just so good. I mean, you just die here, right? Yeah, you just die here. There's not much you can do. Not much you can do in that scenario. We'll go back. We'll get the Bancrofts. We'll get the tier one Typhon. So we'll get one of each pot. And then we'll just walk back to lane. Already 700 gold up. Two kills in under two minutes. I'm telling you, man, the Oleron early game is nothing to be... Nothing to take lightly. And I have 25% crit chance already, too. What the hell? I'll just clear this wave with my two. So I can use my one for good old poke. Oh my god, I, I crit the shit out of him. You're dead. Oh, never mind. I suck. I'm suck. I'm suck and butt. 
I don't have beads, by the way. So if he like, if he stuns me, I could actually die here. All right, he he already used his one, so I'm chilling. You're dead. Yep. 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 You are dead. I am disabling tower. Um, let's just get his alt here, I think. Yeah. Just wanted the alt. Because it gives me tower. And gives me pressure for his blue buff. Oh my god, that damage. I might die here. Depending on his stun. Nope. Oh, never mind. I will not die. Bro, like, how do you look at... How do you watch this game and think Oleron's not just better than Kronos? I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys did believe me when I said that I've played this matchup many times and... It's always easier in Oleron's side. But like, now do you see? Do you witness the power that Oleron can bring? Now, is this it is just great? stupid. It's just stupid. Also, he probably got red buff. While I was going around, like fucking about doing my blue on the XP camp and shit like that. Hello? That scared me. Oh my god, I just crit him for 440. I have a 58% crit chance. Wait. They increased the chance to crit, right? As Oleron? Because didn't it used to be capped at like 40%? And now it's capped at 70%? Oh my god. Or no, maybe it was capped at 50% and now it's capped at 70%. That is just absurd. This is just stupid. He surrendered. Okay. I mean, do I go for the seventh game? Like, at this point? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. GG. Alright, I'll go for the seventh. I'll see you guys in the next game. What's up, boys? This is the last game of the video. So sit your pretty ass down and be happy about it. I'm going to play a little bit of Kukulkin. And you might be wondering, Sam, why are you playing Kukulkin on Triarch Thursday? Well, it, okay. There's actually two reasons. The first reason is I have so many Triarch Thursdays to do this week. I have five of them, which means, and by the way, I'm going to try not to repeat gods all that often. Obviously, I repeated some gods from last Try Hard Thursday this week or, or today because, you know, there's just too many. There's just too many gods I played. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to not repeat gods all that often between videos. So, Kukulkin getting him out of the way early, it's not bad. Not bad. And, I mean, to be honest, let's, like, he's good. He's just a good god. I kind of want to go Kronos Pendant. Kronos into Breastplate, but then I can't go Mirrodin. And yeah, I definitely want to go Mirrodin. Do I go Book? It is super good on him, but it's super slow early game. I could go Bancrofts into Book, or I could just go Book into Bancrofts. Which actually might be better. I think I'm going to go Book into Bancrofts and hope to God he doesn't invade, because if he does, I'm dead. Sir Dante Ma. Dante Ma. Oh, man. All right, on her. Do your worst. Is his worst just pausing? I have 102 power with tier 2 book. Holy shit. Because I get 21 power from my passive. 
Only a 0.89 auto attacks you. By the way, I know a lot of people don't know what these numbers mean, so I'll tell you in order. This is how much your attack damage is, your auto attack damage. This is how much power you have. This is your physical defense. This is your magical defense. This is your movement speed. And this is your attack speed. It's not exclusive so, to nature. just in order so you can see it quickly. In case you want to look at my stats at any point during any video. Um, I haven't really mentioned that ever. And even, even I, until like three or four years ago, I was like, I wonder what the fuck those stats mean. Until I like sat there and I looked. And I was like, okay. That's auto attack. That's power. Those are defenses. That's movement speed. So yeah. Um. Oh, uh, okay. He's just gonna invade me. Do you think he actually invades? No. Certainly not. Right. He didn't. I was doing red buff. All right. I can die to him right now, by the way. Yeah, his early game is going to be a lot better than mine, obviously. But, um, that's just kind of something you need to deal with. as Kukulkin. Something that's just going to happen. Um, you're going to go for XP cap now, probably. Oh, there you are. There you are. I can't move. Okay. I lived. Okay, so this guy's not going to play the game. He's... He's just going to try to cheese me the entire video game. He wants to alt me right now. No, no, no. Yeah, he's just going to try to cheese me all game. He's not actually going to try to play for a win. He's just going to try to play to cheese. Which actually is good for me. Which means I can die like 11 or 12 times this game and it won't fucking matter because he's not playing to win. He's just playing to kill me. Um, all right. Why did that jump look so fast? Is it just me or did that jump look like Sonic quick? And I guess I should go breastplate instead of Bancroft's, huh? I have to let him get really far ahead. Sucks, but it is what it is, dude. It is what it is, dude. Alright, that'll clear the wave, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Now I'll just go back. Alright. Whatever. All right. I wonder why he did that. I'm actually kind of curious why he did that. Because now he doesn't even get red buff. At least I don't think he does. Yeah, he's got no mana. He doesn't even get red buff now. He's trying so hard to play aggressive and try to like make me sad that he's just throwing his game. Like his best play there while I was under tower 
his best play there was just to get red buff. Like trade buffs with me. And that way you get you get red and your own blue. And you probably get XP camp because I can't fuck with you. Like I can't fight you. I'm not that stupid. Right? But instead he went for my blue. Lost the fight because I have alt, obviously. And then And then what now? Now he loses two buffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not happy. He seems a little flustered. He seems a bit flustered. Also, him not going Devos is really good for me. He definitely should have gone Devos. I don't mind that at all. Nice. Good damage. Is XP camp up? No. Almost. Almost. Drop that there. That'll clear the wave. I mean, your blues. Yo, his blue is up. That's what he was doing. Okay. Let's get XP camp. Gonna just run the long way around. Because right, obviously he wants to kill me. Run the long way around. Fine by me. You clear wave, so I'll just place that there. That'll clear. I run all the way back here to get my breastplate. And I will spend the 300 gold to upgrade my shell just to get it up a little more often. My power is really low still. It's only 200, but it can get there. I think. Man, I keep fucking up my clear. Okay, I do feel like him doing Boldium is actually stupid. Because it literally does nothing for him. At least I think it does nothing for him. I missed. Alright. I'm okay with this. You don't scare me. You do not scare me. Uh, I don't think he has enough power to clear my tower if he doesn't get minions in, so... It doesn't matter. You can, you can punch it all you want right there. I'm actually gonna go poly, I think. Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't get minions, he's doing literally nothing to tower. A bull demon was worthless. Okay. Okay. Again, number one thing, not letting minions in. As long as I'm not doing that, you can do nothing to me. I missed everything? Bro, how are these missing, though? I, I'm actually missing everything. Holy shit. Tragic. Alright. I want him to try to fight me. If you're landing all these autos, will you fight me? No? Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna go Aegis just because I wanna oh my voice cracked I'm gonna go Aegis just because I wanna not get shit on by his alt Polly's gonna help me quite a bit with that Ozo
<laughs> he did not expect the poly auto, dude. He did not expect the poly auto. That's so funny. All that aggression for what? To die to a dragon that has a poly. And you lose tower. And I get to back for free. Uh, I mean, I am going to go divine here because I assume he's going to get an Aussie. Yeah, he did get an Aussie. I was right. My blue comes up. His red comes up. It is his red. I'm not going to alt it. Uh, maybe I should. I don't know. Maybe I will. I feel like I lose the fight, so maybe I shouldn't try. Also, maybe I don't care. All right. Okay. I'm absolutely slapping this dude right now. All right. Peace out. Nice. Nice. Uh, can I do Bull Demon? No, I definitely cannot. I definitely cannot. Alright, whatever. Let's just back. Get a point in the alt. Grab the Divine. I'm gonna upgrade the Aegis. So, again, I have it more often. We're up a thousand gold in two levels, man. We're doing pretty good. And it all snowballed off of him trying to go for my blue buff when he couldn't. Bonk. I missed. Bonk. I missed again. I missed again. Oh, but I hit the poly auto. And I hit that. Bonk. Aren't you just dead here? You are just dead here. Hit me. Nice. Nice. And I got the poly working for me here. By the way, in case you're wondering, um, poly actually got buffed. There's an internal cooldown with poly. And it was two or it was three seconds, and now it's two seconds. So poly can actually go off a lot more often in a fight. Like a lot more often. I don't want to go Staff of Mirrodin now. While I prefer my tools Grab it. A little multi-pot. Um, let's see. I mean, there's not much that he could do to bring this back, I think. I mean, he could just kill me. Like, I could just mess up, miss a bunch, and die. It's not that crazy to think about. He just, he did just pop a 500 pot though. Um, what are you doing? Okay. I know, you know, I don't want that. I'm just waiting for the red buff. I missed. Oh, look at this. Bonk. Thank you. Now we get the red buff. And with red buff comes Staff of Mirrodin. So my damage is going absolutely sicko mode right now. Let's switch these around. Now my damage is going to be super good now. I missed. Oh, I missed everything, dude. Fuck. I don't think it matters, though, right? 
Oh, you're just dead. Yeah, you're just dead. Alright. Nice. Now I clear the wave. Well, I cleared most of it. That's this game. I just do far too much damage. And the poly being online this often. Like, I'm just shredding Titan. And that is GG, dude. That is Monday for the Tri Art Thursday. Absolutely insane. We got seven games in in one Tri Art Thursday video. That's fucking nuts. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, until next time, guys, peace.